Hello, and welcome to Learning English for EAP. This is Tim Risher. On today's show, we'll be looking at the International Phonetic Alphabet Chart, just the basics. Just to give you some background information on the International Phonetic Alphabet Chart, this was created by the International Phonetic Association, or the IPA. They created the phonetic alphabet in order to present the sounds of a language in a logical and formal order, from sounds made at the front of the mouth all the way to the very back. In English, the trouble is a vowel or a consonant can be pronounced in many, many ways, unlike in most languages where it usually only has one sound. So it's almost impossible to know how to do it without pretty much somebody telling you. So looking at the chart overall, you can see the horizontal line along the top is the place of articulation, and the vertical section is the manner of articulation, how the sound is made. The white and gray represents voiceless and voice sounds, respectively. Let's look at the place of articulation line first. Starting on the left side, we have bilabial, which means both lips. Sounds like p, which is voiceless, and b, which is voiced. For example, words like person or balloon. Labiodental means with the teeth and the lips. For example, f and v, such as refined and vase. Interdental, or is when you place your tongue between the teeth for the th sound, the voiceless th, and the voiced th, like thousand and that, for example. The alveolar sounds are ones made at the top of the palate, the top front part of the palate, t and d, with words such as tiny, or demand. Moving over to the velar sounds, these are made towards the back of the mouth, over the softer palate, the sounds k and g. Carton, or girl. Well, that's the main phonetic sounds. You can see, of course, there's more but I just wanted to cover the very basics so you can get the idea of how to read it. You can look into more of it on your own. Remember, though, that these sounds are phonetic symbols and not the real alphabet. The K, the picture of the K, is that sound, k, and not just the letter K, because you can use it for, for example, carton or cat. Thanks for joining me, Tim Risher, for this episode of Quick Notes, learning some of the basic symbols on the um, IPA chart. Hope you've learned something. Catch you next time. Bye.